Have you been struggling to edit your S-Log2 footage? Well, this is the video for you. Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, guys. And before I actually get into the editing, I need to just explain a few quick things for you guys. If you guys want to skip along, I'll have a timeline there where you guys can select on where you need to go. Anyway, so what I want to explain to you guys is as much as you want to learn how to edit your S-Log footage, you need to understand that lighting is very, 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 very important, guys. If you don't have proper lighting, your video, no matter how well you grade your video, it is not going to come out the way you want it to. So if I should use, for example, now I'm using one light here, a light over here, and I have two lights to the sides for a kind of rim light. If I should turn my lights off, you can see how my setup is. You have my background right there. I can also turn that one off too. So you can see the overhead. What I have on the floor are two LEDs. You have a blue one right here and a red one right here. I'm gonna just deconstruct now. So you have my background right there. I'm gonna turn on my lamp just to kind of take away that darkness from that uh, area right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my lights now. So first, what I'll try to do is I'll turn on my two, my, uh, my back light, my, this is my hair light, and I, you can see what that has done right there. Now, what I'll do now is I'll turn on my side lighting, so that's one right there, and I'll turn on another one right there. Now you can see that the image is actually coming together now. What is going to happen now is I turn on my main light and boom, there you have it. So that's how my lighting setup is. So now that you kind of get the gist of what that is, let's get straight into the editing. All right, so here we are now, guys, like I mentioned before. So I'm on the, the edit timeline right here now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the color section right here. All right, so first thing I want to need to do, guys, is I need to understand what my color space is. So I'm gonna go to the cogwheel down here. And if I come to my color management, you will see that my timeline color space is DaVinci White Gamut slash Intermediate, all right? Keep that in mind. And then we need to have the output color space for Rec. 709, which is what you're going to be um, allowing like uh, YouTube and other platforms to view the, the video in its natural form, just so you understand that. Okay, so now that you get that, guys, let's go into creating or node. So we have one node here, all right? This one is already labeled as CST, which is a color space transform. I'm gonna create four more nodes. You're gonna hold on your shift and then you press the S key. All right, so now we have five right here. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag this over here, bring this up. All I'm doing now, guys, is just really just organizing how my node tree is gonna be. I'm gonna have this here. I'm gonna have these two here just like that okay so now that we have our node tree set up what i'm going to do is label each of them as i mentioned this one is a label before i'm also going to put another color space transform on this node so i'm going to right click click on label and i'm all i'm going to do is i'll say cst that's it next one is i want to do my exposure on this one so i'm going to right click again and i'll say exp forward slash i want to do also do my contrast as well okay and that is good. Now over here, I'm gonna do my white balance. I'm just gonna call it WB, just to keep it very simple. And the next one now, guys, is the last one is I'm gonna do my sharpening, okay? So I'm gonna just call it sharpen. All right, so now that we have labeled our nodes, I need to start with the first one. So what we're gonna do now is, if, you, if you're gonna come up here, if you're not seeing it, you're gonna click on the FX and you see it pops up here. And all you do, you're gonna go right here, it says color space transform. All you're gonna do is hold it, and drag it over there. And once you have dragged it over there now, guys, I'm gonna, it's already clicked on, you come right in this space right here. And all I'm gonna do now is gonna come over here and I'll click on the down arrow, I'm gonna press S on my keyboard and I'm gonna search for Sony gamut, S gamut, okay? And then now for the other one, which is the input gamma, I'm gonna press S again, and it's gonna say S log two, which is what I actually shot this footage on, 
All right, so now we're gonna to need to go to our color space. So you remember what we came over here and we looked at our color space. So you need to come over here and match their color space, okay? So now all you do is click on this, you press D on the keyboard and you scroll down, you're gonna say DaVinci white gamut, okay? The last one, which is the output gamma, you're gonna press D on the keyboard again and you say DaVinci intermediate. Notice that we are matching what we have here in our in our color space okay all right so now now that we have done that now we're going to do another color space transfer on the last node i'm going to drag this over here once we have done that now so now that we need to, we we now converted in the first section from our s log to the color space that we have in our davinci so now what we need to do now is from the the davinci to rec 709 so all we're going to do now is we'll come up here i'm going to press d on the keyboard davinci white gamut i'm going to press here again for the input color gamut i'm going to press d on the keyboard again and i'm going to do intermediate notice that it's kind of coming into play now so now what we need to do now your old space color space is our rec 709 and then our output gamma, which is what we're sending out, which is for YouTube and stuff like that. Once you click on that, now we press R again, we're gonna go Rec 709A. And you can see that the footage has come into play now. Now, I just want to recap. So if you go back to the cogwheel again, guys, you're gonna see that I have the Rec 709A here and they're matching, okay? All right, so now that that is taken care of, what we need to do now is we need to fix how the actual video is looking on our screen. So that's what we're gonna come to our exposure. Now, once we have into our exposure right here, we're gonna come over here to our color wheel and we're gonna go all the way to the right where we have the offset. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag this all the way down until I see that exposure looks. I really like what I'm, I'm looking for. It's a little bit flat, but don't worry about that. We're gonna fix that. So once we kind of get it to our space where it's kind of looking the way we want it to, now what we're gonna do now, I personally, and this is to taste, guys, I'm gonna to come to my highlights right here. All I'm gonna do is just kind of give my, the image a little bit of pop in the highlights, not too much. And then now we can still drag this down a little bit more. And it's coming together now. And you can see that the image is actually, the video is actually coming nicely together. And now what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna add some contrast to the image, the video. I keep on saying image because I'm a photographer, guys. All right, so, um, so once that is done now, you can notice that it's a little bit crunchy now in the black. So what we need to do now, I normally use HDR and I come over here to my shadows. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase the shadows a bit right there until the shadows look a little bit more soft and not too, um, not too crushed like it was before. And now I'm gonna to go to my darks here. I'm just gonna lift the darks just a bit, not too much, just a little bit right there. And then now I'm gonna come back to this wheel right here. And then now, which is the color wheel, the primaries. And all I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna add a little bit of contrast back into it. Cause I like, it, I like a little bit of contrast with a, with a nice amount of highlights in, my, in, in the highlighted areas at like my forehead and stuff like that, all right? But you just want to make sure that you're not really clipping your highlights. And looking at this right now, guys, it's looking really, really good. But the only thing I notice now, guys, is if you look in these little areas right here, it's a little bit warm. So that's where we're gonna to come to our white balance now. I'm gonna come over here to temperature and all I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring it back just a little bit. Just a little blue in those little warm areas. And you can see that it's actually coming in really, really nicely, guys. Now for the sharpening. And all I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to click on the sharpening area here. I'm going to come over here, and you're going to see this little thing with the triangle right here. You just click on that. So once you click on that, you're going to need to click on the, the middle one right here. And once you do that now, I'm just going to zoom in. And all I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna drag this down, which is the radius. I'm just gonna drag it down to a point where I start seeing a little bit more details. I'm gonna press about a Z on the keyboard just to bring back the full, full screen. And now guys, if you look at what we have done now, all I'm doing now guys, I'm just gonna hold on my option or alt and press D on the keyboard. You can see what we did before 
and after. And if you want to go through now, so let's say I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to I'm going to click on my uh, command and D, and you can see now, guys. I'm just taking care. I'm just looking to see the changes that I've actually made. So we did our color space transform. If I come over here, so this is where we started first, right? nice and flat we did our color space transform and we converted that color space transform which is the the vintage white gamut and we're going to take it to rec 709 and you can see that then we come over to our exposure and then we come here and you can see we added our contrast now i took care of a little bit of the, the, the take up take out some of that warmth added a little bit of cool in there and then i come over here to my sharpening to make the, the, the video um, look a little bit better. I can come back here into my country and say it's looking a little bit too crunchy and all I can do is come over here into my darks and I can just bring this back up just a little bit like so right about there and that is looking a lot better guys. So if I go into my edit section here and I just play a video you can see how good that video actually looked. And remember guys I just did a quick edit for you guys so you guys can get a basic understanding of what it is that you need to do in order to get your your video to a place that you actually like and then you can go further and do tweaking to to your preference i'm just showing you how i simply do my edits i actually do a little bit more i actually do a little bit more fine tuning but i want you guys to get a really uh basic knowledge of how it is that uh, how easy it is to actually get this um your video to looking really really nice from where it was to where we took it now guys so let me know in the comment section below guys if this has actually helped you guys if you do have any question guys leave it in the comment section below and i'll help you guys as best as i possibly can if with any questions you may have all right so if you like this video guys smash that like button guys and if you guys are new to the channel subscribe for more guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one and there might be videos over here that you might be interested in i'll catch you guys later peace